Hi, I'm Kate Waterhouse, and I'm going to read today my book, Sophia the Show Pony. Let's get started. Sophia was a show pony, the chicest horse in town, known for her stylish array of hats paired with coats and designer gowns. She lived uptown in fancy flats, the ritziest place on earth. Heads would turn as she trotted by, sparkles glimmering from her girth. Sophia owned hats of all fashions. Oh, how stylish was her headwear. With creations of velvet, lace, ribbon and silk, no other style queens could compare. But even dressed up to the nines, she dreamed of her sprints in the hills, with the wind blowing through her long flowing mane, the freedom and joy gave her chills. Though a perfectly groomed fashionista, Sophia longed to be more. Winning a race like the Giddy Up Cup was a thrill she was keen to explore. That feeling of breaking the ribbon and hearing a roar from the crowd spurred Sophia on to finally decide her dream should be spoken aloud. So, Sophia made the decision to ask her good friend Grace what she thought of her wild and passionate plans to enter the upcoming race. Being a racehorse is just not for you, said Grace in a voice she kept sunny. We all have our hats that we're destined to wear and you really don't want to look funny. Sophia tried Frederick next. He said, I have a chef's hat because that is my passion. You can't be a racehorse. It's just not your thing because you're all about fashion. Sophia, now sad and discouraged, wandered the streets feeling lonely. It's true, I do love beautiful clothes. I guess I am just a show pony. With her dreams of racing behind her, Sophia pulled herself together. From now on, she'd put her best hoof forward, pour her heart into fashion forever. The very next day was the meat of the season, the famous Giddy Up Cup, where the finest of fashion would be on display and the race thoroughbreds all would roll up. Sophia was dressed to impress, she sparkled from head to toe. Dainty lace netting draped over her eyes and her silk sash was tied in a bow. On the other side of the track, the most stylish fillies pranced around. The judging of fashion was soon to commence. Oh, how they all wished to be crowned. Queen Clydesdale rolled up in her carriage to curtsies and cheers from her fans. She was here to judge the most fashionable filly, watched keenly by the crowds in the stands. As the Queen began to step forward, a gust of wind so strong and so quick blew that beautifully regal hat off her head with a flourish and a neat little flick. Oh no, cried the crowd in alarm as they watched it take off in a dash. Sophia just couldn't believe her eyes. The hat would be gone in a flash. The queen's hat flew over the fence and the tension began to rise as the gun went off for the event of the year and the racers took off for the prize. The hat inched towards the racetrack. It would get trampled on for sure, but no one had yet made a move to assist. It might ruin their hoit couture. But Sophia was itching to help. Her hoofs started pouring the earth. And before she could think of ruin couture, she was racing for all she was worth. She leapt from the starting line, chased the hat through the bolting herd, 
Good grief, is that a show pony joining the race? Oh, how completely absurd. Sophia had her eye on the prize, not letting that hat out of sight. She surged through the pack and into the lead as fast as a flash of light. Her friends watched the action in awe. Sophia was now in the race. Gallop, Sophia, come on, you can do this, came the cry from sweet little Grace. Sophia broke through the red ribbon as she skillfully caught the Queen's hat. The race had been won in world record time in just 20 seconds flat. Queen Clydesdale was royally grateful. You saved my hat while winning the race and you still look so stylish and beautifully poised, not a single hair out of place. The queen went on to declare, Sophia wins the crown and the cup. You can wear many hats and follow your dreams and never, ever give up. Sophia was a show pony, the fastest horse in town, known for her stylish array of hats and racing in designer gowns.